Hi guys, let's look at uh, subforms in Microsoft Access, uh, that is projects or programs. Uh, guys, you will notice that sometimes when you uh, create a subform, it misbehaves and you only get one record. For instance, if here I click on next, you realize that it is actually behaving like a single form. Uh, that is, you see, uh, I am not. It's not supposed to really to behave like this, where you only one and uh, see one uh, document in that you have to scroll. I need a situation whereby this space here is utilized. Like for example, if I go to a professional uh, sub form, guys, you realize that uh, as I feed more guys in this system, like if I go to add new, then add. A person here uh, like Karks James uh, Karks Kibet James that's a new guy then 0799 then this is the number of this guy and then a buyer uh, for that case you realize that um, this guy has been added in my sub form successively this is a professional sub form but uh, when we go to this one here if i add a new guy uh, here you see the whole subform goes blank in that if i add james cards kibet here 799 like that uh, then address 101 nairobi nairobi that way this guy is a buyer when i refresh this one you see now it goes to record number one in that I cannot see other guys here. Therefore, that's what I want us to solve. I want us to solve that problem. Therefore, what you need to do, uh, once you create a sub form, like for example, let's create one. Let's just uh, delete this. We also delete that one. Delete that one. Uh, delete that one. Delete that one. That way. Uh, when we do that, uh, we have in a position to fix that. Let me just uh, show you how to fix that one. Therefore, you just go to create. Then you go to form wizard. We, uh, we send everything to uh, the right hand side. We remove what we don't. Then we just go to next. Here we choose columnar next. Here we can still call it accounts, then finish. Therefore, this is what we have, guys. Therefore, we just uh, fix this, just give them uh, a good look. Uh, then uh, we need to have our sub form down here. Therefore, first of all, we just uh, give this a better look. Also, this one to be bored. Then we need now to bring our sub form here. Therefore, what you need to do, the easiest method is to drag this table around here. Yeah? Then here, just go to next, finish. Therefore, once you do that, remove this label for the uh, sub form. This way, bring it there. Then you can just increase this one. Therefore, if I save this and run, uh, guys, you can see I have the same problem that I have explained. I am only in a position to see one record in that I have to click next to see another person but that should not be the case therefore to fix this one guys you just right click go to design view then up here go to design then go to properties therefore when you are in the properties sheet here you just go to data here uh, that is in the sub form when you are in the sub form you click on data then go to ring master field and also ring child fields. Therefore, you just delete this. Therefore, I also delete this one that way. Then, once I do that, I just save my stuff and then run. There we are, guys. You see, now I have fixed that problem once and for all. And therefore, my sub form is a professional one. In that, when I add a new guy here, for example, if I add a new record here, uh, let's add Caroline Max 
the 789 then this is the number address is this Nairobi Nairobi this is a buyer and then I just uh, refresh there we are you see now Karine has been captured successfully and professionally in my sub form therefore guys that's how you fix that problem of sub form showing only one record and then uh, making your work so much disorganized guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't done that for me also share these videos you can also comment so that i can know which uh, problems or which video i can uh, come up with next thank you very much happy new year